Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will see how to consolidate data from a number of spreadsheets into one spreadsheet. And this scenario is very common. Say for example if you had a number of offices in different parts of the country and they were all sending you sales figures. So you can bring all those sales figures on one sheet. In this example we are taking, um, we have data uh, on three items that village handicraft uh, cooperatives are producing in three states of India uh, MP Madhya Pradesh, uh, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. So these uh, figures have come um, number of uh, scarves being produced in January, February, March, number of hats being produced by village cooperatives, number of um, mural paintings produced by village cooperatives. So these are the figures for MP for the whole year and these are the figures for UP another state in India. So we have three states we want to bring all this data into one sheet or consolidate this data into one sheet. So we can do this quite easily we will start a new sheet I'll just click here and so a new sheet has opened and um, I'm going to start from here. So to consolidate data from a number of sheets you have to click on the data tab and then go ahead and click on this consolidate. Okay. So from the data tab go to consolidate and click. So small dialog box opens and by default the function is sum so whatever is in these sheets will actually be summed up together but you can alternatively choose other options if so required. So what we have to do is to simply point out the range of cells on each of these sheets and just keep adding them in the box. Once we are done we will just press OK and all the sheets will get consolidated. That's the, the big picture. So I'm going to head on to my first sheet which is MP. Um, so I'm going to head on to my first sheet which is uh, MP. I'm just clicking here and coming to MP and selecting all the data for the state of MP and then clicking this button here. So that range has been picked up. It says a sheet of MP and the range of cells. Now before I move forward I need to also mention here that the top row of this data range is actually a header or a label and so is the left column which was having the months. So I'm going to click that in and I'm just going to press add. So this data has been uh, captured inside the consolidation box. Now I'm going to move on forward to the next state which is UP. So I'm going to click on this sheet and just notice what happens here. So you will see that MP has changed to UP which means that if your data was in the exact same range of cells then that data would automatically be picked up and in this particular case uh, my data is in the exact same cells for MP and UP and so that data has been picked up all I need to do now is to just simply go ahead and press add so UP has also been captured now I want to go and capture Maharashtra so I'm going to click on this tab. This time around you'll see that uh, the original selection was here but the data in this sheet is at a different place so there is no problem. We'll just click on this button and capture this data or point to this range and here we have the data for Maharashtra and we'll just go ahead and press add. So we have now captured data for all the three uh, states and the only thing that remains now is to press OK. So the moment we press OK we are transported back to sheet 1 which is now having 
a consolidated view of all these three uh, states. So number of scarves, hats and paintings produced over the year by each of these states has now been consolidated or totaled in this particular um, sheet. So if I can just center this data so that it becomes a little more visible. Okay, so there it is. So we have now consolidated just uh, in terms of a proof if we were to look at this particular cell here, uh, scarf for January, if you were to go to MP, you will find that in MP 30 scarves were produced uh, by the village cooperative uh, for the month of January and uh, 56 were produced by UP. So 30 and 56 is 86 and if we go to Maharashtra, 34 were produced, so 86 and 4 is 90 and 30 is 120. So it has totaled up the whole thing here. If we want to you know, have further confirmation, we can look at these figures, which I have deliberately kept uh, you know, um, a little simple such that it can be visualized easily. So here for the month of December, a total of 30 scarves were produced by all the three states. If you visit each one of them, that's 10 for MP, 10 for UP and 10 for Maharashtra. And that is why the sheet is showing 30. Okay, so this has been consolidated. Um, uh, this is the case where um, you can see uh, that we have different sheets for different states in one workbook. But consolidate is much smarter than that. And you can bring in data from other workbooks also. So it's not necessary that you, your sheets be present in only one workbook. So <clears throat> let me just select this data. And I have uh, another workbook here. And this is from the Northeastern states of Sikkim and Assam in India. And this is just telling you what the village cooperatives have produced there. And you will notice immediately that um, for the state of Sikkim, um, there has only been production for painting and hat and they have not produced any scarves, maybe because they don't produce scarves in the first place. And you will also notice that some data is missing. So that's quite fine, you know, uh, Consolidate can actually handle all this kind of data. If we open up Assam, you will find that it has only one column, scarf, and it has not produced any painting or hat. So um, the thing is that we can just simply add all this data very, very easily. Um, uh, and uh, Consolidate will just add it at the right place without having uh, to, you know, worry about uh, the same number of columns or the same number of rows, etc, etc. So let's head back to our sheet once again. This was our sheet. Let us open up our consolidate box once again. So I've selected this because I want to revise this. So for Maharashtra, UP and MP, we already have, um, we have captured this data. Now we want to go ahead and capture the data for Assam and uh, Sikkim. So I'm going to, these are two states of India. So I'm just going to click on this. And just as I had done for these sheets, I'm going to just head out and go to the Northeastern state sheet and capture my data. This box persists. So I can just come here and click and add. So it has been added here. Um, so this is for uh, the state of uh, northeastern state of Assam and then I can go back and capture this data for the state of Sikkim and add so that has also been added and I just have to now press OK so when I do that and return back to my sheet the original sheet where I was consolidating, you will find that the figures have changed. Okay, so um, you will recall from the previous uh, before we added northeastern state that this figure was 120, and if you if we go back to the northeastern state sheet, uh, and that is for scarf, so 
only Assam is producing scarves and it has produced 10 scarves. Sikkim hasn't produced scarves. So you can very clearly see that um, um, from 120 it has gone up to 130 because of the addition of 10 scarves and it has therefore been able to handle uh, you know um, missing data as well. Here you can see that for the month of November for paintings there was no data so nothing ought to have been added to the original consolidation cells so if you can head back here um, you will notice that for the month of November and for paintings the total is 166 and because data was missing from the um, the Sikkim sheet this 166 is essentially coming from only MPUP and Maharashtra and we can go and verify that so for the month of November uh, it was 23 paintings for MP 77 paintings for um, UP so that makes it 100 paintings 23 plus 77 and here for Maharashtra it is 66 so 166 if we come back here this is 166 because uh, for the state of Sikkim although uh, there was uh, they are producing paintings but for the month of November they had no paintings so nothing was added here and likewise uh, you would recall that these figures were 30 and uh, uh, 10 10 of each have been actually added here so this consolidation is a really really powerful tool because it permits you to bring in data from uh, multiple sheets and workbooks and summarize them in one single view. Now before I close I just wanted to mention one other thing that when we started working on consolidate there was a small box uh, that uh, I did not point out at that particular time so the thing is that if you would click on this box then instead of having values it would have only cell references and so while you will see values the display will be exactly like this what it means is that if you were to change something in one of these sheets that would automatically be reflected here so if you are working with sheets which are having changing data you might like to you know also click on this particular box such that whenever data changes in any one of the sheets the consolidated sheet reflects the same data if you are doing this one time then there is no need to click on this and if suppose um, there was a change in figures say for example in Maharashtra instead of uh, 34 it is now let us say 64 okay so you will not see that uh, the change has been reflected here immediately but you can always go to consolidate and press OK one more time and that change will become immediately apparent here. So these are just values but if you were to go and click on this um, you can actually let, let us try this out also. So if I was standing here uh, in my sheet and I can go to consolidate and this time around I'll just click on this and say OK. So I get the exact same picture but when I click here I'm seeing values when I cl click here I'm seeing formulas okay so this is what it is so um, if a change has been made at some other place that change will become immediately um, available here because we are not really um, uh, we, we, we are referring back to cells rather than uh, anything else okay so this is uh, another option that can actually be tried out so um, this is how you can bring in a lot of data and consolidate them all together in one single sheet. Thanks for watching.